This is the 48th day of siege in the port city of Mariupol. Conventional bombs and bullets have done this damage. Now Ukrainian fighters here allege they were attacked with chemical weapons. Footage taken by Ukrainians defending this city purports to show victims of an unknown noxious substance. I could hardly breathe and immediately felt dizzy. My legs gave way. The allegation of a chemical attack in Mariupol cannot yet be verified, but what we know is Ukrainian fighters are surrounded at this factory, the Azovstal Iron and Steelworks. This is the base for the Azov Battalion resisting Putin's advance, and ITV News has today been able to speak to one of their volunteers still fighting on here, and he tells us what he saw. The enemy dropped the canisters with, uh, with some kind of uh, aerosol chemicals, and it was like a cloud of fog or something like a cloud of smoke. What are the symptoms? Difficult breathing, but uh, people were fainting. I may assume that Russians can use this again because uh, they hate us so much. And we are still standing and we will stand until we, breath, uh, until we have uh, our weapon in our arms and until we're breathing. Russian state control TV has released these images of Mariupol's destruction. But Russian-backed separatists have been openly talking up a chemical attack on the Ukrainian resistance. We should ask for chemical units who will find a way to smoke those moles out of their holes. The separatists deny a chemical attack, but this city is still under constant bombardment, meaning independent investigators can't get anywhere near to examine the evidence. They are sure of their impunity. They are sure that it can turn out that the world will forget, will forget this for them, that Europe will forget this, because Europe's complaints can just be brushed aside. It took Russia's retreat to uncover the full scale of atrocities around Kyiv, but in eastern Ukraine, Putin is still sending reinforcements. The world can only guess at the horrors hidden in the besieged city of Mariupol. Peter Smith, News at 10 in Ukraine.